Hi, You Can Heal family. It's August 26th, and it's our time for our Jesus Calling devotional. My name's Sheena. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me read what Jesus has for you today. Again, it's another um, devotional on trust, and it reads, Trust me in the midst of a messy day. Your inner calm, your peace in my presence need not be shaken by what is going on around you. Though you live in this temporal world, your innermost being is rooted and grounded in eternity. Oh, that's so good. When you start to feel stressed, detach yourself from the disturbances around you instead of desperately striving to maintain order and control in your little world. Relax and remember that circumstances cannot touch my peace. Oh, that's so good. Seek my face and I will share my mind with you, opening your eyes to see things from my perspective. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. The peace I give you is sufficient for you. What a beautiful calling today. Oh, I just feel calmer. I really liked, what was that part about? Um, be grounded in his eternity. We're going to be with God for eternity. So let's just focus on him. Not the problems. Not the troubles of this temporal world. The first scripture is in the Gospel of John. So let's turn there. It's verse oh, 16. It's one of my favorite scriptures. <clears throat> Good Bible pages are turning. I'm having the hardest time getting it. 1633. I've told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. So don't think being a Christian smooth sailing. You're going to have some bumps in the road, but Jesus overcame all of those on the cross when he hung and died for you. And uh, that should bring some comfort and peace that the trials won't last forever. The second scripture, well, let's let's stay in John because the last scripture is John chapter 14, verse 27. It says, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give isn't like the peace the world gives. So don't be troubled or afraid. And we've talked about this several times in other videos that we all have peace. We all have the peace of God inside of us. It's just exercising it, you know, because God left it for you. And and trouble does come. Draw on peace. Call on peace to help you. Amen. And the last scripture is Psalm 105, verse 4. That psalm says, search for the Lord and for his strength and keep on searching. Think of the wonderful works he has done. Now this is verse 5. The miracles and the judgments he handed down of children of Abraham, God's servant or descendants of Jacob's, God chosen one. He is the Lord our God. His rule is seen throughout the land. He always stands by his covenant, the commitment he made to thousands of generations. We have the same covenant the Lord made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is good for us. Like we can really just be in his presence and call on his peace when things aren't going right. God's God's promises are um, always kept. So he's got a perfect, perfect day planned for you and we don't have to be afraid. We can just know that the peace of God is with us and, and draw on that. We don't have to have our hearts be troubled all day long. Remember we um, read yesterday um, when things are getting a little out of whack, just say Jesus. Just say Jesus because his name is power. Amen. Take your deep breath and enjoy the rest of your day always remembering that true healing begins with self-love why because god is love and he lives on the inside of you bye